Hey, Steve here again with webstars.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer a domain name from a GoDaddy account over to a WebStarts account so it can be used with the WebStarts website. Now, everything I go through in the GoDaddy account is gonna be specific to GoDaddy, but the steps remain and can be applied to any domain registrar out there. So no matter what domain registrar you use, these steps are still going to apply. Now, as you can see here, the domain name I'm gonna transfer is this design-my-site.com. I had originally registered the domain name with GoDaddy, but I couldn't move it over right away because of what's called a 60-day registrar lock. Anytime you register a new domain name, there's a 60-day period where you cannot transfer that domain name. That period ended last week, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer that now. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my GoDaddy account or the other registrar, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and jump in there now. I'm already logged in. And you can see the domain name right here, design-my-site.com. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Manage button to manage the domain name. Now there's basically three things you're gonna do in this account. First thing you're gonna do is make sure that your email address is correct because this whole transfer process relies on you being able to receive the email address that WebStart sends to you to verify that you do in fact want to transfer the domain name. So if that email is not correct, you're never gonna get that email domain transfer is never going to happen. So that's step one. Step two, unlock the domain name so it can be transferred. And then step three, send the authorization code. These are the three things you're going to do in your GoDaddy account or your other registrar account, whatever that may be. With that being said, I'm going to check and make sure my email is correct. And you can see here, my contact information is support at webstarts.com. That's our support email. That's the email that I have associated with the domain name and the one that I'm going to expect to receive the domain transfer authorization email from WebStarts as well as the authorization code from GoDaddy. Now, if this starts to get a little confusing, refer to the steps in the help documents because it can be a little bit confusing, but just remember make sure you have a good email address associated with the admin contact for your domain name and you'll be set. So I'm good there. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and find the lock. You can see this domain lock on. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to turn that off. Now that I've unlocked the domain name, I should be able to go down here and see that domain lock is off. That's good. So my email address, that's one. The domain lock is off. That's two. The third and final step in my GoDaddy account is get the authorization code. I'm going to click that now. And you can see here that the authorization code has been sent to support at webstarts.com. I'll go ahead and check that email now. Click all mail, see if I can find that. And here's the authorization code. That then completes the third and final thing that I was supposed to do in my GoDaddy account. One, I verified that my email address was correct. Two, I unlocked the domain name to allow it to be transferred. And then three, I had the authorization code sent to that email address. There's one other thing that you can do in GoDaddy. You just want to make sure that you're aware of it. Certainly not required, but if we jump back into our domain manager, just above where I had the authorization code sent, there's a transfer domain away from GoDaddy link. You can click on that. And it basically just provides a checklist to make sure that yes, you do in fact want to transfer it. And if you do, you click continue with transfer. And then you can click here to see the authorization code. And you've got that same code here as you do here. So a couple different ways you can get it, send it by email or get it directly through the GoDaddy account. The choice is yours, whether you have it emailed or whether you get it directly from the GoDaddy account, that's still just the three things. Okay, now the domain is unlocked. We have the code. Let's go back into the WebStarts account and initiate that transfer from that side. Go back here. We're going to click on Domains. We'll click to edit this domain name. And we'll go over here to the right-hand side where it says Transfer to WebStarts. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll get a message. This will transfer your domain name, design-my-site.com, to WebStarts. Click OK to begin the transfer. Click OK. And yet another notification. The transfer of design-my-site.com has been initiated and an email has been sent to your domain's admin contact asking you to authorize the transfer to us. Be sure that you have your authorization code handy, which we do, so you can then authorize that transfer. So 
basically initiating the transfer from WebStarts sends an email from us to that admin contact for the domain name that we talked about before in the GoDaddy account. That's why it's very important that you make sure that you have a good email address associated with the domain name. If you do not, you won't get this email. If you don't get this email, you can't authorize the transfer. If you're unable to authorize the transfer, the transfer will not complete. I can't stress that enough. The transfer process is relatively simple. However, it does require some very specific instructions to be met. You have to verify that you're the owner of the domain name. If you can't verify that, then you can't authorize that transfer. Once you do, that email has been sent, you click OK, and then we'll jump back into the email account. Click here, go back to all mail, and there's the email there. Transfer request for design-my-site.com. Let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at this email. Once you've gone over the email, you can go ahead and click this link to authorize that transfer. I'm going to go ahead and grab the authorization code. I'm going to go ahead and check this option here that indicates that I want to transfer the domain name. And I'm going to go ahead and enter that authorization code, followed by submit request. Once authorized, that's pretty much all you would need to do from your end. It does take an additional few days, up to seven at times, to complete the transfer, but that's pretty much all there is to it. If you'd like to, go ahead and save this so you have a record of that transfer, and then you can close out of this. You can archive this email. You can jump back into your GoDaddy account and go back to your domains. Now you note here, there's nothing really that says the domain name transfer is in process. So that receipt that you saved on that previous page is important. Should anything go wrong, you can present that to WebStart support or to cows and make sure we get that taken care of for you. And that about wraps it up. Thanks again for watching and using WebStarts and we'll see you on the next video.